Today I'm going to be using a very caustic solution of potassium hydroxide to dissolve chicken flesh. Okay, so I'm using gloves. You don't want to let any of this get on your skin. It will cause severe burns. So I'm gonna use around 200 grams of potassium hydroxide and about a cup and a half of water. And you always add, you always add the flakes to the water, not the water to the flakes. So it's very exothermic. You can hear it boiling as I put it in. And add a little more. You hear that sound? That's the water boiling as I put it in. Add a little more. I'm gonna wait so it doesn't get too hot. So in doing this, I'm wearing hand protection. I have splash goggles on and a splash apron also. You don't want to get any of this on you. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but Every time I pour it in, oh, that is hot. My fork's hot. So this was just room temperature water before. Let's see what the temperature is now. Yep, that is hot. Two hundred and five degrees. So that's essentially boiling. Boiling is two hundred and twelve degrees Fahrenheit. So just by pouring in the potassium hydroxide to the water, it's now at boiling temperature. We're now ready for our piece of chicken. Here's our chicken leg. Okay, so what's gonna happen here is the potassium hydroxide is essentially gonna turn all of the cells and cell walls in the chicken leg into soap, pretty much. And that's what it would do to your skin too. You take all the fats that are lining the cell walls and pretty much make them into soap molecules.
Let's check it out. So the skin around it is now becoming pretty gelatinous. Um, you can smell a weird smell. Um, you can see it's kind of falling off the bone now. How that goes. Give it a few more minutes. So all of the connective tissue just becomes gel. It's called saponification. It's how they make soap, but it's doing it to the chicken flesh. It would do it to your arm too if you stuck it in there. Okay, let's check on it. So, the meat portion of it is essentially no more. There's just kind of a hollow gelatinous shell. It's just the bone. You can see the main portion of the meat is just this brownish gel slowly melting away. Give it a few good stirs. So there was a skin on the outside of this. The skin is what's holding up the best. And this was a cooked skin, but now it's still just this gelatinous mass. The meat is completely just gel now. Okay, so I wanted to show the end product here. So this used to be meat. It is now this gel. Pretty much soap-like. Squishy, transparent, and it now dissolves in water. Interesting.